I found this Linux distribution that is out of mainland China, and I don't know if that's um, particularly unusual or not. I don't know if I've seen. I don't know if I've seen one that's from um, that's from main, mainland China uh, before. Of course, I don't really investigate exactly which country every OS comes from, every Linux distribution comes from. I mean, I have an inkling that Red Hat is an American company, and um, I know that Canonical has connections to South Africa, and I think and may have some connections to England, too, Canonical being Ubuntu. But I haven't really investigated exactly which ones are American and which ones are European. And it's hard to find out, really, with the sort of intermingled history of the whole thing. But, I mean, you can some of them you can figure out. Anyway, this one, this one is from mainland China. And I'm just, uh, I'm just surprised at how, how, I mean, it's so good. It's so good. And um, it's called Deepin 15.2. The only problem I had is I had to reset the clock uh, myself. Let's see if we can get it to come up now on this virtual machine. It should any second. I had to reset the clock myself and um, because it would not give me the right time for, for New York. It would give me a time that was, um, that was an hour earlier. Other people have said they've had various problems, problems with this system, but I haven't seen any of these other problems yet, and I've been playing with it for um, a few, for a while now, for a little while, not for not for a whole day. Let's put it that way. But I mean, so far, uh, just looking at it out of the box, adding a few applications to see if they'd run. And they did, like mix and vocal screen. It seems to, um, I don't know, it seems to work really well. If I wasn't running um, Debian 8 stable and having it work so well, <laughs> actually working really well on a very old computer, meaning that I don't want to really change anything if things are working well. If it's not broke, don't fix it, they say. I, I would try it out on my other computer, my computer that's slightly newer than the one that I have hooked up here. But um, I don't know. Uh, Debian 8 has been treating me so well that it'll be hard for me uh, to uh, take that step. But this is such a good one, such a good one. And, and it has its own, you know, some of its own applications like the hopefully it'll come up quickly here the movie player um, that's their own movie player they have the I guess they call it the deepen movie player this is one of the stock backgrounds here as well one of the stock wallpapers and there's lots of wallpaper that you can get uh, different wallpapers that you can get now that I'm running the Voco screen to record this, things are taking longer. It was going quicker when I was just playing with it with no other application running. This is being done in a virtual machine and it's not, uh, it's actually GNOME boxes that I'm using to, and it, GNOME boxes works pretty well these days too. But you know, when you have virtual stuff, in a virtual machine, it's not going to run the same as you would run there. And here it is, the Deep in D movie. I don't have any movies in there to watch right now on this uh, virtual machine. I just uh, haven't bothered to put any there. But, I mean, it's just so, the whole thing is just so good. I mean, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to put it on my other machine and run it. I'm told it's based on Debian sit on stable is the only thing <laughs> so you gotta wonder how you know they don't call it unstable for for no reason although Debian unstable is sometimes much more stable than 
than, than other things. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say for now. The, well, let me show the software center first, actually, before I sort of sign off here. And um, the software center is incredible and unbelievable. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. I, this is, I, you know, I hate to s compare, but it's like what, this is kind of like uh, what Ubuntu, I, I get the impression this is what Ubuntu was trying to do, but didn't succeed as well as these, as this distribution has. And, um, you know, I like, I like Ubuntu. I'm not going to be one of those people that disparages Ubuntu, but I'm just amazed at the, um, and this this almost is something the, the only reason it's running slow is because it's in a virtual machine and I am running another application on this computer at the same time it's a very old computer and um, yeah I mean it, that's the reason for that when I was just running this alone it ran much faster um, you can <laughs> take my word for that or not but that's what I I'm stick that's what I'm saying and that's what I'm sticking to so if we can get this um, software center to uh, come up uh, right now, you would be able to see just how um, how great the software center is. Although I don't know if it's gonna, it's having a hard time right now. And again, I think the only reason for that is that on this old old computer, I'm running the gnome boxes and the vocal screen at the same time in recording this and so it's having a hard um it's having a hard time but let's see let's see if I start over here we'll try to get out of it I don't know if that's going to even work now <laughs> yep let's see here yes Yep. But before I started up the second application Voco screen and started recording, everything ran much faster than this, even in a virtual, even in a virtual box, virtual machine. So yeah, let me show you what the if this will come up now. Although I think I have there. Yeah, this shows you, and you can go up here Internet and you see all the, and it even has comes with Skype. Um, you know, music, and then it shows you the various applications that are related. Yep, you see, not much in the way of, I didn't really put much in the way of, and I'm not sure what this is really. It didn't really make much sense when I, but let's see here. Yep, office, and you can see right there, office. Again, I don't know what that is really. <sighs> yeah. And so this is still stuck doing this because of, um, you know, how I'm running this on this very old computer with vocal screen and, but it is something to consider if it can't run well enough in a virtual machine, you know, and that's one of the tests. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> so much for showing you the software, showing anybody the software center right now, I guess. But yeah, it's, it is impressive when you can, when you can finally see it, you know, it is impressive. Um, I wish, oh, let me just one more time before I turn this off. Nope. It just is not going to do that. Yeah, just is not. All right, so I guess that's all for now then. And I'll see you. I bet you as soon as I turn off the second application here, uh, it'll move faster again. It, that shouldn't be the case, but that has been the case with this, with this computer when I have two things going at the same time. Things